Yeah, so when patients call or are concerned about swelling, I think there's uh, pretty simple protocols for this. A lot of it goes back to any sort of acute injury. So you have, you know, rice, rest, so when patients are up and I have them walking uh, during the day as we want them to after any major joint replacement surgery, if they feel like they're getting more swelling or tightness in the, whether it's thigh, knee, calf, or foot, I advise them just to stop and rest, elevate the leg. They should elevate the leg above the level of the heart um, and let that swelling subside. Uh, ice, ice is very beneficial. Ice decreases the swelling in the leg, causes vasoconstriction. There's some good studies that show it's helpful with pain. Uh, I follow uh, some knee patients in social media and it's surprising how much they recommend ice to one another. So I'm a big proponent of ice. Uh, I generally tell patients 20 minutes every couple hours. If you do it much more than that, it really gets to be pretty onerous on the rest of their recovery. Um, compression can be beneficial. So some patients with swelling, we may discuss wearing these compression stockings to aid in, in controlling the swelling. Those stockings don't have a lot of, uh, of clinical data that supports they protect you from blood clots, but they do seem to help certain patients with swelling. And those are the biggest things that we can do to help patients control swelling.